All right, that is my platoon flag from boot camp, United States Marine Corps. And here's the story about how I ended up with it because I was never a drill instructor. Towards the end of my career as a police officer, I wanted to reach out to people that meant a great deal to me. And one of them was my drill instructor. There's his name there, second down. Drill instructor Sergeant Patrick Higgins. It had been about 23 and a half years since I had graduated boot camp. And I reached out and I found him. He wasn't a Marine anymore, but he was still training Marines. And I left a phone message. Told him who I was and that I was a recruit of his for many years ago, but I'm retiring from the police department and I wanted to speak to him. And two days later, I'm getting my hair cut and my phone rings and the voice on the other end says my name and I say yes. He says, this is Pat Higgins. And I said, gee, I don't even know what to call you. And he said, call me Pat. And I said, well, I, I want to tell you, Pat, that if you ever wanted to know if you made a difference in someone's life, I wanted to tell you that you saved my life. I was a troubled kid with uh, a lot of problems and I went into the Marine Corps about four months after I graduated high school. It was the day after my 18th birthday. They came and picked me up at my grandparents' house, this house here that I ended up buying years later. And, you know, as a Marine, you meet these people as a recruit and uh, it, it changes your life because it's, it's nothing that you can compare anything else to that you've done, especially if you're just a, an 18 year old kid, just 18. But I told Pat, you know, how much he meant to me and that besides my grandfather, he's my greatest mentor. And uh, he told me, and I was sad to hear it though, but he had trained about 500 recruits and I was the only one that ever reached out to him. And uh, I thought that was unfortunate because he was what you'd think of if you thought of the epitome of a Marine Corps drill instructor. That's what Pat was. He told me that he was doing training up in New York and that he'd like to meet up with me. I, I said that'd be great. Uh, when I walked into the hotel where he was staying with his colleagues, I heard his, you know, he yells, you know, Aah! and I, I came to attention. Anybody in boot camp knows what I'm talking about. And he walked over to me and I, I shook his hand. I couldn't believe it. Here's a man I hadn't seen in 23 and a half years, and the last time I saw him, he was kicking my ass. But he handed me this flag, and this flag, 1003 is my platoon number is the flag, the very flag that I carried as the guide when I was 18 years old, all those years later. Now I'm holding it again with Pat Higgins. And the reason he had it is because at the end of training, the gold flag you see here that you carry for the first two months of boot camp goes to the heavy, which was Pat Higgins. Then you get a red flag with gold numbers for your third phase and your, your final month of boot camp, that goes to the senior drill instructor, which you see there, Staff Sergeant Singleton. So for 23 and a half years, Pat had this flag, and he handed it to me, and I couldn't be any more grateful. Uh, months later, uh, he met my son. My son told me, you know, I, I've heard your name my whole life. So it was, uh, it was a great experience. You know, and God bless the Marine Corps, God bless America, everybody that's still doing it. That there is my grandfather's World War II bayonet. That's my Marine Corps knife, my K-Bar. And I want to say to all Marines, past, present, and future, Semper Fidelis, you're part of a brotherhood that's one of the greatest things America has ever had. Semper Fi, boys. For all the boys that never made it home.